In honor of a fresh start week, uh, the handyman is in the house every day bringing you brand new tips to make your life easier uh, than ever in 2015. Please welcome back Janelle Inez. <laughs> Janelle, what do you got today? So today I'm going to show you some amazing ways to use the ice tray. It's going to save you some time and some money. So first, I know a great way to make great iced coffee at home. Now most people will pour their coffee over regular old ice cubes. And what happens? They melt and it waters down your coffee, right? Which you Dilute hate, you end up throwing it away. So what you do is you freeze your leftover coffee in the ice cubes and make ice Coffee cubes. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna use my fingers because I'm gonna drink this, not you, Steve. Yeah, I know. Pop them in your cup. <laughs> See how you do me. No, Pop I mean, not you, everything, but you know. I know. I, I got a wife, I can't handle no woman. You right, you right. Feed me and I got handle. a husband. Well, you got a husband, you sure well, can't right. feed it to me. Heck no. Cause what you ain't doing is coming on here and get both of us killed. Right. <laughs> Peel twice, <laughs> and you pull your cool down coffee in there. Put your cream and your sugar. You see that? Okay, okay, I like that. So my next thing is, so I take these herbs and I chop them, and I put them in my ice tray, and I put melted butter on it, and I freeze it. You really don't have to freeze it; you can just refrigerate it because you know butter will set itself. That way, when you're going to cook a dish and you need an herb, let's get it out. Let me show you how to do this, right? Show me how to do it. Yeah, see so you. Just do it like oh, that. Oh, there you go, there you go. Let me show you. And it's, and it's really pretty. See how pretty it is? See, it's pretty? So, but what you can also do when your herbs are gonna go bad, instead of throwing them away, yeah. chop them and freeze them with the Put butter. Put them in the butter. See? That idea I really like. Yes, yes, see that right there. There we go. Now, this is my favorite. You got butter on your hands, you good? Yeah, I don't okay. worry about that. This is my favorite. I don't waste anything, and I doggone sure don't waste my wine. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. So, if you find yourself with a little bit of leftover wine in your bottle because you know you had enough, right. you just pour it in your ice tray. Pour it in your ice tray. Freeze it. You see? There we go. I don't want to make a go. mess. There we now go. that's a pretty good idea. It's a pretty good idea. So your recipes that called for wine, if you don't have a bottle open, you just go to your frozen cubes in the freezer, pop it in your pan and cook. But this is my favorite right here. For a glass of sangria, do your little pop thing. Do your little pop thing with the thing. But it's, it's there we go. No, don't, I don't want to. Ooh. Okay. You pop it in your sangria. Cause you don't want that water down. I don't want no water down wine. No, I don't. Mm -mm. Oh, if you just tired of the kids and they just driving you crazy, <laughs> and you want to slow them down a little bit, come on, baby, daddy got some popsicles. <laughs> come on. Hey, thanks, Janelle. That was really good. Welcome. I like that thank a lot, you. darling. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, folks, uh, don't forget, uh, Janelle the Handyman will be back tomorrow with more time and money-saving tips that you don't want to miss. It's a great job. And remember, follow me on Facebook uh, at uh, Steve Harvey TV, Instagram at I am Steve Harvey TV, and Twitter at I am Steve Harvey. I got a lot of stuff going on. We'll see you next time, folks. <laughs>